This video is about how to simulate circuits using QSIM in Altera's Quartus 2 version 13. If you're using Quartus 2 version 11 or 12, then you need to watch the other video because things have changed for Quartus 2 version 13. I will try and point out the changes here. So, when we have our project, to simulate, go into the File menu and pick a new University Program VWF, which means Vector Waveform File. Right, OK. Then, go into Edit, Insert, Node or Bus, and use the node finder to find the nodes. We can list them, use the double arrow to copy them all, and now all of those will be in here. Now if we look in our simulation options, we'll notice that we have model sim, but the Quartus 2 simulator is grayed out. That's because the Quartus 2 simulator will only work with certain logic families. So, what we will do is we will change the device that we're using here to a device that is one of the families that we'll simulate. So I'll choose one of these Cyclone devices, recompile, and after a successful compilation then we should be able to use the new device to perform our simulation. Okay, so now if we go back here and look in our simulation options, now we can pick the Quartus 2 simulator. So we can pick that, and it says it only supports the Cyclone 1 to 4 device families. So because we're using a different device than we originally intended, the timing information will potentially be slightly different. For a functional simulation, that won't make any difference. So now we can pick our input and override the count to turn it into a counter, like this, and now we can go ahead and run a functional simulation. And here is our output file. And now we see the input and the outputs, and since the circuit was just an inverter, um, again we can zoom in, if we wish, and so on. We also now have the option of going back here and doing, say, a timing simulation. And now with a timing simulation, now if we zoom in, we can actually see things like propagation delays. As I said, these propagation delays will be only approximate because we're not using the, the device that we intended, but it will give you an idea of what's going on. If you've had to change the device like this, then remember that after your simulation is done, you should switch back to the device that you intended in the first place so that the device you're actually using in your circuit is the correct one. So in this case, I was using a 7064 SLC 44-10, so I will choose that one again and recompile after my simulation is done to make sure that I'm back with the correct device that's the one that I actually want to use in my circuit. So again, just a reminder, the only devices that will work in the simulation are the Cyclone families 2 to 4. These are the ones that can be used in the simulations and so those are the ones you have to choose if you're going to do a simulation using QSIM.